Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. I'm Gaynor. Office Blow Kaden. Okay, yesterday was a massive day globally. It was. Where pretty much every country around the world celebrates St. Patrick's Day. I doubt every country does. I'm telling you it does. I've been, I've been countries around the world on St. Patrick's Day and the Irish pubs have been absolutely packed, solid. Botswana. Not been Botswana on March 17th. <laughs> Gonna yeah. go through all the, all the yeah, places. But, but yeah. however, I'll give you one example. I'll give you one prime example. I was in South Korea. What about Bhutan? In, in, uh, in, in, in Seoul, Korea, on March 17th once. St. Paddy's Day, the Irish bars couldn't even get close to. Yeah. Everyone was dressed up in a, I don't know, like I'd Irish guess it's regalia. Just that with a massive has Guinness Irish hat. bars and stuff, isn't it? It's probably the Irish bars, yeah, but people like to sort of like get involved in the St. Paddy's Day tradition. It's a, it's a big tradition round, round, that surrounds a lot of drinking, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's face it, and I, Irish dancing, yeah. Irish music. It's just a lot of fun, it, isn't it? It is a lot of fun, yeah. I mean, you've got over here, you have uh, St. George's Day, St. Andrew's Day, and St. David's Day for England, Scotland, and Wales, respectively. Um, but St. Patrick's Day is probably the most celebrated uh, yeah. amongst people. I mean, I, I was in Manchester yesterday, you know, where we all were, and I was walking through and thinking, why is everyone wearing green? I'm like, have I missed something? And then I thought, ah, oh, St. Patrick's Day, yeah. sort of thing. But one of the biggest traditions, um, which I remember we were in Chicago once, yeah. and someone says, they dye that river green for St. Patrick's Day. And I was like, is he winding me up? Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, no way did they do that. Anyway, they do. So I thought, I don't think cool, you knew about it? this. No, I did. Oh, you did know about it? Yeah, they okay. do it every year, don't they? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you knew or not. So I thought we'd watch a little bit of a news clip um, on how they turn the uh, the Chicago River green um, and celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Chicago. So obviously they're going to put dye into it or yep. some sort of dye. How do they Colouring. get the dye out or does it just fade well, out? Well, listen to this though, right? Because I was walking past the stream uh, here in the UK a couple of years ago and I thought, that doesn't look right, that colour. The streams are not that colour. And it was like a really, really crystal blue, and I'm like, so much wrong here. Someone's putting shit in the in the in the in the in the drains, and it's coming out in the stream. Anyway, I found out that they put it down to check for blockages, so they put the dye in the flow. Eventually, the, 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 it'll wash out. Oh, okay. But they put this dye in to sort of like see if, see if there's any blockages in the in the um, in the system of you know the sewage system or right. the drainage systems or whatever. But it was coming out in the river, and I'm like. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> who am I going to grass up here? <laughs> anyway, it turns out that's what they do. So I'm right. assuming they use something similar that would uh, that would work like that to make yeah, it green yeah. and set to right. celebrate St Patrick's Day. Okay. But wherever you're watching from in the world, let us know what the St Patrick's Day celebrations were like for you. First thing we had, we went out yesterday. What time did we get in the bar? About one, quarter Qu to one, quarter to two when it was quarter close. to one, <laughs> and it was, uh, and then straight away, straight on the Guinness, right? Yeah. So it's uh, it's what you do. Yeah, not leading, for up me. To, leading up the tradition of uh, of St Patrick's Day over here, which Cheltenham races. Mm. which is a uh, horse racing over here is a massive Irish event I would say because yeah. it's all the Irish horses come over all the Irish trainers are big over here the, the, the owners and all that jockeys the whole lot and it's a, it leads up to a massive event Ireland won the Six Nations rugby it was just a massive week for Ireland last yeah. week and uh, topped off with a great St Patrick's Day Yeah. but uh, let's get into this uh, St Patrick's Day 2024 Chicago River Dine Parade and more it's right. not St Patrick's Day in Chicago until the river turns green Today, Midnight, thousands showed mm -hmm. up for the annual tradition. For some, it was their first time seeing the spectacle. Judy Wang was there. St. Patrick's Day, Chicago's way. <laughs> Always a magnificent sight. We do do it every year. And uh, today, the weather is better than most days. Revelers <coughs> from across the country here to see it for the first time the bucket list for me. My sister lived here before. She got to see the, the parade. I've never been, so I wanted to come. A lot of family that live in Chicago, but they don't know I'm here, so uh, it's all good. I just wanted to come. It's proper emerald green, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a real green, like yeah. deep green, but you know, the, the funny thing is, it's Guinness, right? I know Guinness has been big for a long, long time, right? Over the last couple of years, it's got huge. huge yeah. It's gone really big, hasn't it? Mm. It's just all like kind of exploded across the scene to be I mean, I know it was everywhere anyway. Yeah, the people who say. say, don't get a good pint of Guinness there, you don't get a good pint of Guinness there. This is here, you get a good pint of Guinness. And it was kind of one of them where you'd see the odd pint in there. Now it's it's a staple drink, everyone drinks it. And I've seen a lot of women drinking it yeah. as well. It's sort of like burst onto the scene in a big, big way in the last two or three years. I know it's always been big, I get that, but it's gone even bigger in yeah. the last couple of years. It's like trendy to Yeah, it's become it. trendy now, yeah. So is it is it the boats that are letting out the dye? Yeah. Right. Yeah. The dying of the River Green, it is a tradition that began in 1962. The Chicago Journeymen Plumbers Local 130 performed its magic with a recipe that remains top secret. It's mesmerizing. 
I mean, the color, Isn't it? You, you, you can't believe it until you see it. And, you know, I'll bring pictures back to show my class and, you know, and just, it's, it's amazing to see. And people don't understand it because no one else does it. A crowd of thousands lined up for miles. The celebrations were well underway. So we've heard lots of stories about the, the dying of the river and uh, we needed to celebrate today. So here we are, hey? What's in that cup? Tea. <laughs> Ice tea. <laughs> Drinking up, dressing up, party suits on, the louder, the better. I'm pretty terrified right now, actually. <laughs> to be seen in public in this? Yeah, sure. <laughs> we are very festive people. So we take it very seriously when we ever uh, we go to festivities like this, Mardi Gras, anything, anything like this. Dennis Walker celebrated St. Patrick's Day and turning the big 5-0. Well, good right now. We'll see. We'll see how I do in about an hour or two after we get to the bar. <laughs> the part is the crowds. You know, everybody coming together for St. Patty's Day. It's just a great day of uh, celebration and uh, and everybody's friends, everybody's buddies. And I'm ready to drink as well. <laughs> Green beer, too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then the parade they go along the Mag Mile. Judy Wang, WGN News. It's like an American thing, the green beer. Yeah. You don't see it over here. <coughs> green beer? I thought yeah. you were joking. No, no, they, no, they put like green. a dye in the beer, uh, like a food colouring, and uh, turn like lagers like green and stuff. Yeah. I've never seen it over here. Mm. Yeah. And then mm. you get like a luminous wake. Mm. Someone would probably complain over here, wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, fuck's that? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want that. <laughs> Just but, give me a normal one. But what, but something that confuses me is like, why do people celebrate it outside of Ireland and stuff? Like, is, if it's just an <coughs> Irish thing, I don't I get th it. I think it's just it's just become like a tradition. Well, you've got a lot of you've got a lot of Irish immigrants, um, so sort of like uh, from years back, all over the world, haven't you? A lot of the Irish sort of like made their way from Ireland and mm. sort of went to the USA, went to South America, wherever they went. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people have to do have that Irish heritage sort of thing. And a lot of people want to cling but to that heritage. If someone has like one great, 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 great granddad from Ireland, they'll claim they're Irish. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the Irish are like that. They, yeah. love the, they, won't, they won't let go of their, uh, their heritage. Yeah. And rightly so, I don't think anyone should let go of their heritage, whatever they've got. They should always respect what, what, what heritage you've got. I mean, I've got Norwegian. Yeah, so I'm like me and Erling like, Ireland, Ireland are like that yeah, now. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Best friends are. Might I'm a be, proper Viking. Might, might be his dad. Not, yeah, I'm a proper Viking. You know what I mean? And it's uh, it's it's one of them where you've got like um, with the Irish. So like, like I say, wherever you go, wherever you go in the world, is always an Irish pub. Yeah, always. Yeah. Right. I, I think it's predominantly people just want to have a good time. I it's do. Like Mardi I it's... Gras, I've got no Mexican in me, but I do like a margarita and I do like Mardi Gras. Yeah, Mar is Mardi Gras Mexican? No, not Mardi Gras. Um, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, yeah. yeah. Cinco de Mayo, we always celebrate Cinco yeah. de Mayo just because it's something that revolves around drinking. Yeah. So it's one of them yeah. where there's a massive celebration to be had. So if you're having a massive celebration, why not use an excuse like a, a St. Patrick's yeah. Day? But St. Patrick's Day has become... You ask, you ask anyone who's English or even Welsh and say, when's St. Patrick's Day? And they'll go, March 17th. Well, you asked me yesterday and I wouldn't have and, had a clue. And I say, when's St. George's Day? And everyone goes, I don't know. But I know it's April 23rd. I would never have been able to tell you when St. Patrick's Day is. I don't know when St. David's Day is and I don't know when St. Andrew's Day is. Mm. Right? But I know when St. George's Day is and I know when St. Patrick's Day is. Yeah. It's, um, but I don't have any Irish heritage. Well, I have a little tiny bit, but not nothing to sort of like shout on about. You've got a little bit of Irish yeah. heritage. But mine's, mine's minute sort of thing. I don't know one of them where is it Irish? Well, is that why I've got an Irish name? No, I just like the net Irish yeah. names. Yeah. Well, you and your brother both have Irish yeah. names. Yeah. So that means you're 30% Irish. 30. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's good to say I love that. Yeah. I love traditions like that. Yeah, I do. And it's a, it's an amazing tradition. Like you say, no one else does it. No. Which is surprising. So I'm going to start doing it in the Mersey down the road here. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I'm going to start making it black. <laughs> well, blacker than what it is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let us know what you did for St. Paddy's Day. And uh, don't forget like and subscribe as well. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.